I was doing some prep uh, on Monday, and I'm looking at this card. I'm like, hot oh, damn, this is a really good card. Like, obviously, everything is obviously about the main event between, you know, San Hagen and Dillashaw. But, man, you look at the rest of this card. Dude, it's when we talk about a fight night car, these are the type of fight night cards that get you excited. I mean, like, I was like looking at it and saying, okay, outside of the main event, here's my top three fights outside of the main event Puna Soriano, Brandon Allen, Adrian Yanez, Randy Costa, Kyler Phillips, Ruhan Pavia. Like, and there's other fights I could throw in there that, that are interesting, but to me, like, those were the top three fights. I think overall, top to bottom, this is a really good fight card the UFC's put together as a fight night card. Yeah, I do. This is something where, Jason, you know, if you're going to watch this after you hang out with your fellows the night after, I think you're going to have a really enjoyable time, man. You're going to probably pick and choose, like, to immediately watch the Soriano fight. You know, that's one hell of a fight to headline the prelims. And, God, I would say if I'm power ranking, my top three fights aren't the main event. I think you got to go Soriano, Allen, number one. I do want to put Castellanos in there, but I put... I'll put Phillips. I'll put the Phillips fight number two at Bantamweight because that's a damn good fight. And then number three, you know, Lat Chase is a good fight. I, I really like watching Aspen Lat fight, but number three fight would be the other fight on the women's fight on the main card: Miranda Maverick versus Macy Barber. I mean, Macy Barber desperately needs a win. She's lost two in a row now. She. This is a fighter who early on you kind of thought, damn, this is going to be a future champion. Not the case lately. She looks to get things going. And damn, the UFC's put her up, put her in there with someone who's had a lot of success lately in Miranda Maverick. So I would put Maverick Barbara at number three. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Lad Chiaison's interesting. First fight for Aspen Lad since coming back from injury. Her last fight, December of 2019. How has she bounced back? Macy Barber uh, got reminded on Twitter about her last fight when she came back from her injury. Of uh, literally, where there's a point where she's shadow boxing uh, against, uh, I want to say it was Alexa Grasso, um, which is just a man, just a bad clip for her. But like, look, I will say this: uh, Soriano Allen to me. If you're Brandon Allen, you gotta get to the fight to the ground. You cannot get into a striking match. Matchup. If you tell me that fight is on the feet, I don't know if Brandon Allen survives 10 minutes. I, I just I, I just don't think you can do that. Yanez Casa, kudos to both these guys, the way they promote themselves. I wish the UFC would get on board with this. Adrian Yanez, he loves himself some Dr. Pepper. Um, Randy Costa loves himself some Reese's Pieces. And, and uh, Nolan King or MMA Junkie did a, a, a little fun video with both of them. And, uh, you know, and, but also stylistically, it's a very fun fight. Both these guys want to keep it on their feet. Randy, he, he loves throwing head kicks. The longer the fight goes, I, I mean, look, there, there's a reason Adrian Yanez is a two to one betting favorite in this one. He should get the win on, on Saturday night. But the one thing is, if Randy Costa does win, I do believe it will be early. Um, one of the things that uh, Adrian uh, told me when I, I had him on the podcast last week was the fact of that uh, Leo Mano Martinez, who was recently signed by the UFC off Dana White's uh, looking for a fight series, uh, has been his main training partner because he throws head kicks really well. And so to me, that that's a fun fight. Kyler Phillips, I, I just think, is a really interesting prospect there at 135 pounds. 